Cuba wild strawberries. I hope you're doing good. So today I was sitting in my backyard and I was just relaxing. I was not actually planning on doing any readings today and all of a sudden it started to rain a little. And so I, I have a tree that I am sitting under and so I was just sitting here and just manifesting and thanking Tlaloc, the Azteca of Rain, for everything, all the signs, all the dreams, uh, the symbols that he has sent my way. And all of a sudden, this crazy wind started, and I'm sure you can tell because I have all these scattered leaves here, um, but this really crazy wind started. And I just, and if you can hear it, it's starting up again. <laughs> and I just felt, like that was a sign like it was a message that was coming through because it was just so sudden and so so i connected with the ancestors and so the ancestor the god the goddess that came through is chico mecoat chico mecoat she is the aztec goddess of corn and she is the one that helps you to grow things you know if you're working in a project if you're working um in a business, in a relationship, she's always someone that can help you grow, grow your, your corn, whatever that may be. And so I asked her for a message. There is this Aztec ancestral ritual that used to take place in the beginning of the rainy season and within a festival that was called Ochpanishli, a part of an offering to Chico Mecoat and it was called the sweeping of the streets in which the rain travels. So I thought it was very synchronistic that that message came to me that I found out about this ritual. I didn't know about it um, when it was actually raining and, and when the wind was just going really crazy. So of course my question to Chico Mecoat was what, what is this wind clearing for us? So what is being cleared right now? And so the message that came through is that there's a lot of disappointments and sadness that, that needs to be cleared. That is something that is continuing to block all of us when, when we talk about our journeys, about going forward, moving forward into new relationships, new projects, businesses. Um, and so the reason for that, the ancestors are really calling to us really loud right now louder than they have for me in my journey and so i am not very surprised that they're coming through with this type of messages and these symbols and these uh, synchronicities because they know that there's a lot that we're still not healing we're still holding on to a lot of the of the past that has hurt us a lot of those disappointments and pains and heartbreaks and they're letting us know that this is a time when a, a reset is happening I know that so many people talked about 2020 and about the great awakening and every thought it was just going to be like all this energy coming through us and, and just one day we were just going to figure it out, you know, <laughs> and we were going to know all the secrets to the universe or something like that. But it, it hasn't been like that. Um, it, has, it has been very tough with everything going on with COVID-19, you know, there's a lot of pain and heartbreak going, out, going on out there. And so I just want to send, you know, all these healing vibes to anybody that's going through it. Um, I have you lifted up in my prayers and in my, my manifestations. Um, but there's still things that we got to heal and we got to let go of. In this, in this type of reset that we're having right now, this is where the universe is telling us that we can create something new with ourselves. Something maybe that we never thought we could, we could do with our lives. And so the universe, the ancestors are telling us that there's a lot of beautiful things coming towards us and things that are really gonna make us happy, things that maybe we never knew we wanted or needed in our lives, but are gonna come and they're gonna show us a whole new reality, okay? Our realities are changing. And so it is imperative for us to be able to have healed from the past so we can go ahead and accept the new that's coming. And I know that I've said that before, but if this message keeps coming through with different cards and different decks and everything, then it just means that it's such an important message that it needs to be repeated because 
somehow many of us are still not getting it. Um, when we talk about healing, we know it's going to be hard. We know it's going to be tough. We know it's going to it's going to revive that pain one more time. And it is so hard for all of us to just be okay with that, you know, to say, yeah, I'm going to sign up to go through it again. And unfortunately, we just have to um, trust the, that the universe and the ancestors are guiding us to where we need to be. However, if we are able to do that, the ancestors are letting us know that all of our of our dreams can really come true. And I know that sounds cliche, but it is it is a time for us to go back to to that time when we continue to dream and we allowed ourselves to dream. And in those dreams, we manifested a lot of beautiful things without fear, without disappointment and pain, without anger. And so we need to go back to that. OK, because we need to understand that we are at a time where we're going to figure out that we can actually have everything we've always wanted and we can make it happen for ourselves because it's not just going to appear one day right we need to work for it but even if we don't know how we're going to work for it trust that it's going to happen that the things that we do every day our choices our mindset you know that we allow ourselves to have positive th thinking and thoughts every day that's what the ancestors are asking from us okay for us to manifest clearly our desires so that the universe can meet our vibe okay so if what I have said today here seems a bit daunting and difficult just know that if you believe in yourself you will be able to end this cycle okay remember that we are here to end generational cycles for for either us from different lifetimes or realities or either other generations in our families so that's what we're here to do, and that is what the ancestors want us to focus on right now, okay? And just know that they are, they are conspiring in our favor. They are helping us so that we can get through this and break these negative cycles that we have been stuck on for a very long time. All right, Wild Strawberries, well, that's the message today. I hope that it resonated. Please let me know in the comment section. And as always, sending you Wild Strawberry Vibes. Thank you.